Welcome to Spring 2022 Business 210 Microsoft 365 Excel Statistical Analysis class here at Highline College. Now this is the introductory video and you may be asking why do we have to use Excel for statistics? Because out in your jobs when you're given a column of data like this and you need to know the percentage responses using Excel, it's quick and easy. Insert ribbon tab, pivot table, click OK. There's the survey results. I drag it down to rows, and instantly I get a unique list. I drag the same column down to values, and it knows to count. I drag it again and right click show values as percent of column total. Yeah, this pivot table feature knows to take each individual number and compare it to the column total. And just like that, we have our report, which in this statistics class is called a frequency distribution. And look at that, Bloxy Cola is number one. So the reason we use Excel in this statistical analysis class is so we can go from data like this to a report like this with just a few clicks. Now the goal of this introductory video is to take a tour of how we're going to do things in the class by looking at the syllabus, by looking at our first website we're going to use, the People website, and looking at the Canvas website. We want to start off by going to our People website. And then down here, this is the syllabus link. Let's click it. Now at the top of the syllabus is a hyperlink table of contents. Now you're going to read through this syllabus very carefully. But later, when you come back, if you want to click on Grading or Schedule, these are hyperlinks. So if I click on the Schedule, it jumps right to that section of the syllabus. Now we'll come back and look at the schedule later, but now I'm going to use Control Home to jump back to the top. And now we want to scroll down and look at a few sections. The first thing is instructor information. My name is Michael Gervin. There's my office telephone number. There's the best way to reach me, mgervin at highline.edu. Now I have office student hours Monday through Thursday, noon to 1.30 in room 29307. Now if you can't come during that period, all you got to do is send me an email to request a meeting Monday through Saturday outside of my office hours. Now here's the description and course outline. You can read through all of that. And we have two class websites. The People site contains four things, the introductory video, the syllabus with the schedule inside the syllabus at the end, all the YouTube video lectures, and all downloadable files for the class except homework templates. Those are at Canvas. The Canvas website, that's where we'll have weekly announcements, an area to post questions, and the home area is where you go to download the homework templates or upload your finished test. And then, of course, there's a section where there are scores for your grades. Now, this Canvas website is open from the first day to the last day of the quarter. Here's the requirement for textbook, including the ISBN. And now, computer requirements for this class. As was communicated in the schedule when you signed up for the class, you're required to use a Windows-based PC computer with Microsoft 365 Excel or Excel 2021 and a standard keyboard. That means 10 key on the right side and F keys along the top. I have a picture of that later. Mac and Chromebook computers will not work for this class. The Highline Business Department is closely aligned with employers in the working world, and employers demand window-based PC computer skills. So even though many of us love our Macs and Chromebooks, including me over two decades ago, a Mac user, we cannot use them in this class or for most of the jobs you're going to get. Now, if you don't have a computer set up like that, no problem. You can use the computer lab here in Building 30 on campus. You can check out a computer for the quarter. Or if you have your own computer and you don't have Microsoft 365, that's the best version, much better than even Excel 2021, Highline will give you a free copy. 
Your computer must also have internet connection that allows you to watch the YouTube class videos. And especially if you're checking out a computer, you need a jump drive. We're going to have a lot of important files in this class that we're going to keep in a very specific folder. And so if you don't have your own computer, you definitely need to get a jump drive so you can save them. Here's a picture of a standard keyboard. Here's a typical laptop computer. And the advantage to a standard keyboard for analysts, whether you're doing statistics or straight reporting, accounting, finance, all those kind of business things, is we have a number pad. Very importantly, the navigation keys. And even more important, the F keys. And we will use all of these keys to do things lightning fast in this class. Now, if you get stuck with a laptop, and I have a laptop. This is a picture of my keyboard. Then to access the F keys at the top, you're going to have to use your FN or FX key. That means you have to hold it down, then simultaneously hold F2 or F4 or F12. Also, the navigation keys are a little bit harder to get to. Actually, what I do with my laptop is I have a plug-in standard keyboard. So when I'm doing a lot of analytics, I plug in my standard keyboard. Now, if you're requesting a computer from Highline, be sure to request Windows-based computer with Microsoft 365 and ask them for a standard keyboard that you can plug in. Now, to succeed in this class, and these tips for success are the same for both sections of the class. The only difference between the two classes is that if you decide to come to the hybrid class, we will meet two hours a week and go over some of the examples from the video lectures. You can expect to work between 15 and 20 hours per week. You need your computer. You need the textbook. In this class, it all starts with the schedule at the end of this syllabus, which we'll look at in just a moment. This schedule lists everything that you need to do in this class. Consult this schedule each day of the class. And this is different than most of your other Canvas classes. The schedule is not in Canvas. It's here in this syllabus. Now, for each chapter in the class, you will need to, and I'm going to talk about these things here, but in the first video, and as you're going along the first few videos, I remind you about this. Now, this is the order in which you do things for every chapter. You first download the Excel chapter file that goes along with the video lectures from the People website. Then you watch and study the YouTube class video lectures from the People website. While watching the videos, you complete the Excel chapter file. You do it for practice. You don't hand it in. Then you download the Excel homework templates from our other website, the Canvas Home area has that file. These templates have worksheets for you to do your homework and solutions for you to check your work. Then you can finally read the textbook chapters and complete the homework problems for practice. You don't hand these in either. Then with all that practice, the take-home Excel test can be done to earn points towards a grade. Now these tests are available for download at the People website. And they're similar to the work in the videos and the homework, so there'll be no surprises. After you complete the test, then you upload them to the home area of Canvas. Now scrolling down, you're going to read through details about testing and grading. But two important things. Tests are given in Excel. The tests will require that you use Excel features like creating formulas, formatting cells, creating pivot tables. If you make your calculations on a handheld calculator and type your answers into the test, your score will be 0. You will be graded on your Excel skills and your statistics skills. The other thing is, if you submit a test past the date time deadline, that earns a 25% reduction. Now, of course, exceptions for the test due date are made for documented emergencies. Now, there's the grading scale that I use for your final grade. But be careful, Canvas gradebook is not correct. The scores for each assignment in Canvas are correct. So if you see 85 out of 100, that's correct. But in Canvas, the percentage scores are calculated for completed work only. So at the end of the class, if you see 85% and you've only completed three of the five tests, 
that 85% is completely wrong. All do all official grading for your grade outside of Canvas. Scores inside of Canvas are correct, but not the percentages. Now we're going to scroll down and the rest of the syllabus you can read through. And here it is. Here's the schedule at the end of the syllabus at our People website. And you can see we have 11 weeks. For week one, here's the dates. That's the chapter in the textbook. That's the topic we're going to cover. Those are the videos, one, two, three, four, for week number one. Here's the textbook pages, one to 33. Here's the homework problems for this first chapter. There's only three of them. And in the final column of our schedule, it says, hey, there's the test, and there's the due date time. Now, as we'll see, the test you download from our People website. Then we move on to week two. Dates, chapter, topic, there's the videos, there's the pages in the textbook, homework problems to do for practice, and there's the test. All right, I'm still creating the content for this class, so I only have the content up through week five. So be sure to check back later. More of the schedule will be filled out. All right, I'm going to click the Back button. And now we want to look at this People website. Let's click on Chapter 1. At the top will always be the files that you need to download. Here's the videos to watch. And again, in video number one, I go through downloading and very importantly, creating the correct folder we're going to use for this class. And then for chapter one, when you're done with the four videos, it reminds you to do the textbook work. And then here's where you download the test. So only after you've done all this do you come and download it, complete it, and then upload it to Canvas. Now let's go look at one of these videos. I'm going to click on this link, and there it is. There's the video at YouTube. Now very importantly, down below that Show More button, you're not going to use this when you watch it for the first time, because you're going to watch it the first time through and do whatever you see in the video inside that Excel file for practice. But watch this. I'm going to click Show More. If you have to come back during a test or when you're out there working to remind yourself of something, there's a time hyperlink table of contents. So if you forget what a cross-sectional or time series data set is, well, you click on this, and it jumps you right to that point in the video. And so every video is set up that way. Now I'm going to click the Back button, then click the Back button. For each chapter, and I only have two chapters done so far, Here's chapter three. It only has the first video. Now let's click the Back button, and I want to briefly go look at Canvas. Now Canvas is an abbreviated version from what you're normally used to in other classes. All we have is announcements, um, at least one a week, but I post them whenever I want to say something to you guys. Discussions. This area right here, there's just one discussion post at the top. You don't have to use it. You don't get points for it. But if you have a question, that's where you ask it, except if you have a question about a test. See, it says non-test questions. If you have a question about a test, then you email me directly. Notice when I click on this, it reminds you at the top what you should do. If you have a question about a video, be sure and post the video minute mark, like 3 minutes, 30 seconds. And if you have an Excel or statistics question, Attach the Excel file. If I click down here to type a question, there's the Attach. And the reason why you attach your Excel file is it's 100 times faster for me to answer your question if I can see your question and then go look at the Excel file. Grades, this is where you go look to look at your scores. And then the Home area. Now in the Home area at the top, I have an area that just reminds you that most of the content is at the People website. And then for each week, week one, two, and three, I only have up to five so far, there will be two things in each week section. You download this Excel file. If you click on it, then you can click this to download it. This is a homework file that I'm giving you. It has the sheets where you can do your homework. And it has the solution so you can check your work. I'm going to click the Back button. And then for each week is the Test Upload link. This is where you upload your finished test Excel file. Remember, the tests are emailed out in accordance with the dates and times listed in the schedule. 
then you work on it. And when you're done, you upload it to this link. So each week, there's the file where you can do your homework and check for solutions. There's the upload link. All right, this is going to be a great quarter filled with fun Excel and statistics. And we'll see you in the next video, video number one.